Hello again everyone, this video is about coagulation tests. The coagulation test, or CT for short, is also known as clotting time. And clotting time can be divided into two depending on the type of specimen used. If capillary blood is used, these methods are called as the micro method. And when venous blood is used, these methods are called macro methods. Each method can have two each. For the micro method, we have the slide method or the drop method. And the second is the capillary tube or the Dale and Laidlow's method. For the venous blood method, we have the Lee and White method and the activated coagulation time method. The first method under the micro method is the slide or the drop method. Perform a finger puncture and wipe the first drop of blood. Only start the timer after the second drop of blood reappears after wiping. Place three drops of blood on a clean glass slide. And then after 30 seconds, observe for the formation of a thread-like structure using the lancet or the tip of the lancet. Remember, you have to check every 30 seconds. Once this is seen, stop the timer and record the coagulation time. The next method is the capillary tube or the Dale and Laidlow's method. We have to warm the puncture site of the ear or the finger first before puncturing to a depth of three millimeters. Again, wipe the first drop of blood and fill two capillary tubes. After two minutes, break the tube using a glass file and observe for the clot formation. Once this is seen, stop the timer and record the coagulation time. The reference values for the two procedures is two to four minutes. For the macro method, we have the Lee and White and the activated coagulation time. The Lee and White is also known as the whole blood coagulation time or the WBCT, which is adopted in the year 1913. This test measures both the intrinsic and the common pathway. This has a reference range of 4 to 15 minutes. The ACT or the activated coagulation time is adopted later than the Lee and White method. This is used to monitor heparin therapy and uses a two syringe technique for venipuncture. The reference range for this method is 75 to 120 seconds. For the procedures for the macro method using the Lee and White, we have to label test tubes number 1, number 2, and number 3. Draw 4 ml of whole blood and then start the timer. Remove the needle from the syringe and transfer 1 ml of blood to test tube number 3 and then 1 ml to test tube number 2 and lastly 1 ml to test tube number 1. The last 1 ml is discarded together with the syringe. Incubate all tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, tilt the tubes individually at a 45 degree angle every 30 seconds. We have to watch for a complete coagulation. This is described when the tube can be inverted without its contents spilling. When complete coagulation is achieved, record the clotting time. The clotting time of the three tubes should be recorded separately, but only tube number three value is recorded. The next method is the activated coagulation time. The same procedure is used as the Lee and White method with some differences. First, a glass tube with an activator is used. This is the gray stoppered vacutainer tube with diatomite as the anticoagulant. Only two tubes are used and two ml of whole blood are placed on each tube. The first tube is observed after 60 seconds with intervals of 5 seconds. These are some sources of error when performing coagulation time. 
first is unnecessary coagulation, which may prolong coagulation time. Next is poor venipuncture technique, which causes hemolysis or tissue thromboplastin to mix with blood, shortens coagulation time. Bubbles entering the syringe may also shorten or decrease coagulation time. Abnormal results may indicate an inadequacy in the coagulation pathway or the coagulation factors. Examples of these conditions may be hemophilia, a fibrinogenemia, and circulating anticoagulants. And that is all for this brief video regarding coagulation time. Thank you very much for watching.